Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead code number 1592, rearrange spaces between words. So you can read the problem statement yourself, I believe it's easier to see from the examples. So for example here we have 9 spaces in this uh, text, and we have 3 slots in which we need to put the spaces, because we have 4 words, so we have 3 slots. And so since we have 9 spaces and 3 slots, we can put 3 spaces between every word, and that will give us the maximum space between the words and what if there is some leftover for example here we have seven spaces and two slots so we have one leftover okay in that case we just put it at the end of the result okay so yeah it's pretty straightforward i'm just going to show you the way i coded it during the contest so first of all we need to count how many spaces we have in the string just like this we increment count whenever we find that the current character is a space and now I'm going to transform my text into an array of words. So I split the text based on white space, on text spaces. And so also I want to actually trim the text. So I don't care anymore about the left spaces and right spaces. So I trim the text and then I split it with a regular expression. So I'm matching one or more spaces and I'm splitting the text based on that. Okay. So now we have an array of words and I know how many spaces there are. And so I know, I know how many slots I have to place a spaces in between the words. So this is just the amount of words that I have minus one. So this is the amount of slots that I have to place the spaces in. And so now I know how many spaces I need to put in each slot. It's just the amount of spaces that I have divided by the number of places where I can put them. And this is just a way of saying uh, floor this value. So if it has decimal digits, just remove them, truncate them. Okay, so now we know how much space I need to put which, between each word. So now I need to check if I have any leftovers. So this is the original count of spaces. And this is how many spaces I'm going to be using. So it's just the space between times the number of places in which I'm going to be putting uh, these spaces. And if I don't have any leftover, like in the first example, then I can just return the text array joined with a constant amount of spaces. It's just one space repeated space between times. So this is the result if we have no leftover. So if we have no leftover, we can just return this result. But if we have leftover, then we need to add this leftover to the result before returning it. So we're going to return the concatenation between the result and the one space character repeated leftover times. So that's it. I'm going to show you that it works. And the space complexity here is O of N. And the time complexity is O of N as well. So that's it from me today. Thank you for watching and bye.